People ask me, what is an addiction? An addiction is using a substance, object or thing to change the way you feel. That means you can use alcohol, drugs, gambling, sex, food, relationships, many things to change the way you feel. Take an alcoholic. How many times have you heard somebody say to an alcoholic, just stop drinking, what's the problem? Just stop. It's difficult. The problem is the alcohol has become that person's anesthetic. The alcohol takes away the pain or the problem. It takes it away for a short while. However, when the alcohol wears off, the pain, the problem comes back again. It's still there. So the person starts drinking again. That cycle, that cycle is addiction. To illustrate this, think of an iceberg. Here's our iceberg. Here's the waterline. Above the waterline of the iceberg are all the things that we've been talking about, the things that people can use. Alcohol, drugs, gambling, sex, food, relationships, internet and video games, work, exercise. These are the kind of things that people can use to change their feelings. What we do in therapy is we need to explore the emotional triggers that are going on for that person that makes them use the addiction time and time again. So what we look at is below the iceberg, the things that people can't see. We explore in therapy self-esteem issues, self-worth, any losses the person's had, resentments, what are they holding on to, job issues, are they happy in their job, relationship issues, are they happy within their relationship. Abuse can be emotional or it can be physical. Anger, abandonment, any of these things, if they're still going on for the person, if the person holds on to them and doesn't actually work through them, they can lead back to a relapse. Not everyone has these problems, but if the person does, then we need to own them. We need to reframe them, and then we need to help the person recover. People with an addiction, they're not bad people. They have an illness. They need understanding and support to help them recover. The first step is to come here for an assessment. During this time, you and I can talk about what's really been going on for you. And you will hear, perhaps for the very first time, that you're not alone and that help is possible. You're not the only person that addiction affects. Family members are also affected by their loved one's addictive behavior. For this reason, we have developed a dedicated family program. My name is Peter. I'm the founder of Addiction Care. I myself am also a recovering alcoholic and I haven't had a drink now for over a decade. Because of this, I know that you can recover.